Hey guys, welcome back. Um, yeah, we're jumping into the final chapter. Hopefully we can do this. And gifts reign of terror. Uh, Zenzela has a way for us to get to the moon. So let's do this. Restricted area, door to the Inquisition of all things. You're back. Hmm? What? There's nothing here. What are you looking for? I mean, well, we're gonna go blasting our way into the enemy stronghold, right? I was hoping there'd be some really amazing vehicle or weapons or something. But I don't see any kind of awesome equipment or pretty party favors. Well, now that you mention it, don't lose your mind. It's a little early yet. Still? Are we waiting for something? Yes, some time remains before the window to execute the summon arts. Summon arts? Well, I just realized something really obvious. You must be a summoner as well, right, Commander Zinzela? And if that's true, who's your cross? Someone who has a similar vibe? I had the same question myself. I asked a higher-ranking summoner about it. Well, talk about an answer from an unexpected place. Not exactly the answer I received was that nobody knew. And back to square one. Immense power can its itself become a source of an insecurity by its mere existence. It is completely understandable why you would want to guard that secret. Great principle. Will you join us in battle? No, I'm just here to see you off and support your effort. Unfortunately, there are a number of reasons I cannot leave the city. Commander, I'm assuming then that your cross is quite powerful. Is that correct? I cannot in good conscience deny that. No. Then will you be able to lend that power to us in this coming battle? Well, considering what we're up against, the more the merrier, I say. This is no time to be pulling punches, you know what I mean? <laughs> Ignorance is certainly a fearsome thing, as they say. But Prince? Oh no, Yang Hua, this is neither the time nor place to expose my identity. You both know I am not supposed to even be here. Y you Oh my, aren't you that petty criminal from the docks? As far as all of you are concerned, I'm a nameless, very beautiful woman. No, but that's... No way, I mean, this day is blowing my mind already. Er, do you know each other? Is she related to the Oka Division or something? Hmm, I suppose you could say that. Are you that new summoner everyone is talking about? My, my, you look a lot less intimidating than I had imagined. Are you really up to the task ahead? What? Er, uh, well, I'll do my best if that's what you're asking. Do you always appear suddenly and then start dropping rude bombs? <laughs> um, Ying Hu, are you alright? Anyway, should we not be discussing the Thousand Eye instead right now? Thousand Eye? You mean our life resident stones? Well, those stones do have the Thousand Eye seal engraved on them, right? <laughs> For the present, you are still considered suspect now that to the task at hand. Maybe I should explain things first. The word that this world, the other worlds, and the nameless world were drawn into. Eventually damaged Linbaum deeply, it came to be known as the World Full Four. Many people died in the conflict, and whole towns were wiped from existence. It caused enormous ge geographical changes to the mountains and seas, and threatened the very existence of those who did, did manage to survive. The suffering and despair grew until it was clear extinction, extinction was close. But at that point, the Thousand-Eyed Dragon suddenly made an appearance and saved the world. Wait, saved in what sense? Precisely what it seems. It purified poison, revived forces, and calmed seas. The world of that time was healed just enough to continue supporting life. And when its strength was exhausted, the Thousand Eye Dragon ascended to the moon, and there it fell into a lengthy slumber. Whoa, I feel you. That story is so epic, it's not even registering at the moment. Hearing that makes me feel like a child who's just been read a bedtime fairy tale. I understand how fantastical it must all seem, but it really did happen. Each U Cross Summoner, each U Cross Supreme Commander inherits the bond with the Thousand Eyed Dragon as a pledge. However, the dragon remains in its slumber and still isn't at full vitality yet. Even if I were to summon it right now, we could only use a fraction of its full power. Have I made the situation clear? Er. So your cross is an awesome legend from heaven that saved an ancient world. And the hundreds of years it's been sleeping in peace haven't been enough to recharge it? That's the guise of it, yeah. 
Well, I guess when we're facing a black day like this, this is the hope we need. The dragon is an entity that watches the world from a place outside it. Summoning it from the outside now and making it expend its power is illogical to the extreme. So the existence of the Thousand Eye Dragon is every bit as literal as its name. Man, so can some some Jew are too profound for old old Callus here? I mean, what? It means we are connected with a great entity that watches over the world. Thus, as voices are transmitted from eye to eye, they become the key to past memories. Golly, now my head's starting to hurt. Kay. Nothing makes my blood boil more than a treasure I can't lay my hands on. So, uh, can we get to the point here? I'm tired of story time. If you hadn't noticed, the nether, new the nether moon is starting to eclipse the real one. Makes my hair stand on end. It does appear as if this gift is trying to swallow up the real moon with the nether. What I've been trying to say, thank you. Our time is clearly running out. Now is only chance to change things. And so I ask one last time, is everyone here ready for combat? Oh, come on. What is this, a movie of the week? Do you really even need to ask? I'm fully prepared, of course. Mela, mela. Ready and waiting. Prepared for what is to come. It's a little scary, but I'll go wherever senior goes. At uh, sis, no, I, I'll see you when I get back. All set. My heart and body are always on the battlefield. The condition I inherited from my cross and great-grandfather. Look, I'm really dying to put an end to all of this, and, like, right now. I'm okay. I'm not scared. All these stories of old have me riled up and ready to do some that, something legendary. What he said. I, I'm fine. I can go when you're ready. This will be our last chance to face Gift and Nurse. Gift, I couldn't turn you back from this path to madness. Now both you and I have reached the point of no return. And the time has come for me to put an end to this with my own hands. Summoner Fault is ready to face whatever may come. Then I shall now open the gate to the moon where the Thousand Eye Dragon sleeps. I have neither the ability to w awaken the dragon nor to bar its power, but for now I'm able to use a small amount of power to send you close to the battlefield. The place that the nether seeks to consume will be the, ho the, the best place to mount our defense. Hold fast to your resolve and press forward with courage. By the guidance of the new art of wisdom and the thousand eyes, let the two words be connected here now. In the name of the blessed pledge, guardian alive, Zinzela entreats. Open swiftly, gate of mirror moon. Think it'll work? It would take a miracle. I hate that I'm so helpless here when the situation is so dire. At a time when the very existence of the people in this world is being threatened, I can do nothing but look up at the sky and hope for the best. I do understand your feelings, but you must calm yourself, Unshatter. The mayhem that has welled up this time cannot be quelled by mere strength alone. Your great power is acknowledged by everyone, but there is a limit to what you can do. Your ambition to protect the people of this world should be entrusted to these people. If only for a little while. Trust them and just wait. I know that for you that will be a battle in, in and of itself. Yes, that is too true. I'll try to be patient. Defic deficient moon? Where are we? Whoa, it's like the dead of night here, and not so strangely depressing. My radar is not working normally. This might be a kind of otherworld in a certain sense. I still believe this is the moon lair of the sleeping thousand eyed dragon. The sky's completely blanketed by something dark, though. Could that be. If this is the moon, then that has to be the nether moon. It's almost impossible to comprehend how much nether we're looking at. Yeah, it's a lot. Chicken it out already? Not like you at all, kiddo. Where'd all that, all your guts go? Things got tough and you go all soft, predictable. Look, I can't help feeling scared about something really, really scary. And they're like, uh, guys. I never guess I'd be fighting the darkest star in the sky. Well, kind of like a star at least. We're at a little disadvantage since they've been up here for a while. They've had some time to get used to the terrain. We need to just shut up and dive in. Time to zip in and start beating another ass. Here they come. Stay close and set battle stances. Defeat 50 foes? Damn. That's a lot of 
not a damn false beam. A lot of fighting. 